Well, I think it might be 1KZ this week. That's two 1KZs we've had in two days. So, butter bing, butter boom. Let's see how that goes. I don't think we'll see another one for a long Let's time. Take care of the important stuff first. Look at these glow plugs. When to change them in injectors and things breaking and how they come out and how they get stuck and how they don't work and what you should and shouldn't do. Firstly, we've said it all before. Check out the older videos. Check out the playlists. Playlists have got a lot of information. A bit like an index. But anyway, 1KZ. And there's a lot of vehicles, diesels with injectors. And you know what? There's petrols that have got spark plugs that are just like this. So all this information, it's all relative and it sort of comes together. Like I always say, one more piece of the million piece jigsaw puzzle. And en every engine has got its pitfall. It's got its problem. It's got what is going to, you know, it doesn't mean it's a bad engine, but it means if something happens with this engine, this is what it's going to be. Some engines have only got one thing and it's really rare, but it's really bad. Some engines have got three or four things. Maybe it's a lot less rare and it's really bad or maybe not quite so bad, but you've got four things to choose from and it's a lot more common, you know. So it's good to pick a good engine that has minimal problems that last a bloody long time. And whatever you think you've got that you think's the best, that's fine. But understand if you've got that engine... It could have some issues and this is exactly what we're going to talk about and injectors here they do need replacement like all diesel injectors do but it's not like these highly strong common rail diesel engines it's not like the 1kd which with old flogged injectors and a few other contributors it can in a very rare event end up with a cracked piston what the problem with the 1kz is and i've said it in many videos before the the glow plugs all right, when they're old, they fall apart. You can see the tip missing off one, and I'm just doing a bit of a, see, these ones are pretty good, actually. There's a bit of other, what's that hanging off there? But quite often, we just throw them on the bench like that, or even softer, and that tip breaks off. We don't collect them anymore, but this tip, that's been missing for a long time. It won't quite focus, but it doesn't really matter. It's black. So when you pull them out, you need to have a look and go, if you see a clean break, on the end there, there's a good chance that one of those tips fell off as you lifted it out. And then while you've got the injectors out, you want to try and get that bit out of the engine. Now you can be lucky, and that little piece there could have flown straight out of open valve and gone down the tailpipe, or it could have melted into the head or the piston or a combination and been stamped into the top of the piston. You just don't know. So the idea is replace the glow plugs every 100,000 kilometres in a 1KZ diesel engine. And this reminder while we're at the, at the moment, on the 1KD, don't touch the glow plugs because they don't come out clean like these generally do. Quite often, alloy will come out in the threads, they'll get stuck, you'll loosen it, it'll become tight again. Half the threads in the head came with it. It's going to cause you dramas. Don't touch them. Don't let anyone touch it. Now's the time to subscribe, turn the bell on, I've given you the information and I'll continue to give you the information and recap on some things every now and then like this. Don't touch the glow plugs on the 1KD. The only time, and you're still not going to touch them. If in the very rare event you have an engine problem, a crack piston, and you're getting a new engine, the only time we're going, to, we're going to put new glow plugs like these nice new ones here, look at these nice new ones, in a 1KZ, not those ones, they're 1KZ, we're going to put new 1kd glow plugs you know 1kd engine only a brand new one not a rebuilt one if you're going to need an engine that's the only time we're going to touch them we're not going to do a compression test through them we've got special dummy injector things you get them on kon.com.au discount code 4 before diesel if you want to be able to do the compression test through the injector it's like a dummy injector you just put your little tool what you'd normally thread in same thread as this into the head you thread that into the dummy injector tool you clamp it down like an injector and you crank away and if you're really efficient like we are we have like four of them and we do four at once crank it over once and that's it so they all go in they all come out anyway that's in the injector information playlist it's all old news these are the hkt glow plugs i like them they're made in japan never had a problem with them um, they're one of the ones that I use and recommend, being a bit cheaper than the genuine ones. I've got one set of genuine ones here. If somebody wants them, we do have 1KZ injectors in stock, but not always. They're hard to get a hold of. I'm talking brand new genuine. I'm not talking someone's rebuilt these crappy old things, which is okay. And traditionally, it's been okay in the diesel industry. But in my opinion, the common rail injector rebuild thing is not a thing. 
So that's in separate videos, separate story. But certainly, this car is probably 20 years old. It's got some old injectors in it. It was running all right. But after 10 or 15 or 20 years or whenever the budget suits for you that you want to stop blowing smoke and save some money on fuel and have a smoother running engine that's more responsive and make Toyotas look better how they were when they were less than 20 years old because they don't really start smoking for at least, you know, what, maybe a little bit at 10, maybe a little bit more at 15, 20,000 Ks, probably some puffs of smoke out of the old 1KZ, but you get a nice new injector like this. And see these seating washers? They've got to come out. They've got to get replaced. They go under, obviously, the end of the injector there. You can see right there. You can see the mark where they sit. Okay, and seal it all up. They've got to be talked to specification. It's all in our videos. We've got videos probably on YouTube, in the VIP group, plenty of other people that have done similar. The little seating washer does come with the new injector. All brand new, genuine and fresh is the way to do it. When you put your glow plugs in any engine, you probably want to use some of this stuff here, which is why it's sitting there ready to go. A little bit on the thread. It's up to you if you want to go a bit further down. I like to keep it really thin, like a really thin paint job. You don't need to smother. I see some people, I don't watch many people's other, many other people's videos, but I've seen people share videos with me where they just goop it up. Heaps of this stuff will seal the They just smother it all over glow plugs, injectors, common rail injectors. It's just absolutely disgusting. You know, I, I would not bury my diesel, that's for sure. I would not do that. I don't want to bury the diesel like that. I want to make sure the job's done clean. I'd watch my videos here and just do it myself because, to be honest, we just don't trust. We've seen too many problems. We don't trust anyone to do it right. So old glow plugs every 100,000. These 1KZ injectors, I'd probably recommend about every 150, 200,000. I'd recommend new ones while you can get them, while you can. And then if you need to get them rebuilt, you're going to have to find, do it yourself or find some reputable place, careful who works there and what parts they use. Are they using genuine Denso parts for the injectors? Are they using some aftermarket cheapy stuff? The HKTs are good. We do have them in stock. It's not an injector kit with pipes. It's injectors, glow plugs, map filter, Blah, blah, blah. Deliver to your door express post. If you're interested, just shoot me that text message. Keep watching the videos. Phone numbers listed on the Prada Hospital Facebook page if you made it this far. Text message service only. And there's plenty of other places in the videos. You'll find it if you keep watching. And that's what it's designed to do. Keep you watching. Why do I want to keep you watching? Well, because if I put the phone number everywhere, all that's going to happen all day, every day, the phone's going to try and ring. People are going to try and ring. It just goes red. It doesn't ring. It's set to not ring unless it's a known number. And I'm busy anyway, and I probably won't answer. So don't ring. Just send a text message. You can sort of like book an appointment if you're a, a client already. And a quick thing, we'll have a quick chit-chat. If you want to book a 15-minute conversation to diagnose your vehicle, you can pay and book that in absolutely. I can refer you to workshop partners. We can do some work here. We can replace your injectors. Or we can do a video like this or the next one, or the last one, or one of the ones in the playlist, and show you how we do things to do it right, so you can learn and do it yourself and save money. Because believe it or not, doesn't it seem crazy, but I'll trust someone to work on my vehicle that's watched all my videos, before I'd trust taking it to any dealership, or um, reputable or unreputable workshop anywhere. I'd trust people that watch my videos all the videos, many times over, you're gonna get well-trained. I'm not saying I'm gonna trust everyone and you, but I would trust that sort of person more than just your general workshop, which is just crazy, the really. EGR information. Now, we didn't put all these wires here, whatever. We're just here to do the injectors and the glow plugs, right? It's good the previous owner kept this one really clean. The current owner, I think he's gonna look after it pretty well also. Why do I believe that? Well, he's got it here at the Prada Hospital getting the injectors and glow plugs replaced, so. That's a pretty good start. Um, I just want to show you the EJR system on these. So the EJR valves at the back there. A lot of people put a full blank plate on the back there. A lot of people block the vacuum lines, making sure the valve is closed. Um, all the mess comes in from that back hole there. So just to give you different ideas, if you had this pulled apart for a while, you could put some high temperature silicon down that hole there. You could just fill, goop it all, squeeze it all down there, let it dry. Clean all this out. You can take the manifold off if you want, but you don't need to. It's not caked up or anything. The worst of it is what you see around those edges right there. So really just reach in, clean that out best as you can. There's gonna be no restriction. But then that being said, it's not hard to take the manifold off either. So if you're working on your own car, you can do that if you want, but there's no need to. So we're not gonna do that and charge you to do that because it's unnecessary. Um, yeah, 
That's it, mate. A little bit of goop on the threads. Beautiful. What do you do with your old injectors? Just hold on to them. Keep them as spares. I'll give them a bit of a clean up. Throw some oil and that on them. Put them in a sealed bag. Keep them all nice and wet so you don't get any uh, corrosion on them. So clean and lubricated and dry. Keep them in a cool, dry place. Because you never know. One day you might need a set and you can't get these new ones. Get them while you can. And... Um, and that's what people are doing, and that's why we don't have them in stock a lot. Um, I've got a couple of sets there at the moment. So I'm always chasing these, and, um, uh, you know, sometimes you've got to wait. Whoever pays first gets them next, so if you want some, you can send me that text message. I'll send you the order, you pay for it. They may or may not be here, but you'll get the next set. And if you say, well, I don't need them yet, I'll give them to someone else, and you can take the next set, whatever. But at the moment, it's all up to date. We've got some in stock, and... Um, Never sure how many we're going to go through because for a long time we don't really, I must, they get older, they're not worth as much these cars and a lot of people, they either don't do the maintenance or they don't want to spend money on the maintenance so they either don't do it or maybe they do it themselves which is fine um, but you get the odd one of, you know, I think wise people that want to look after these vehicles. Here's the throttle body, here's a lot of what you want to clean off that's just years of build up see it on that side of the butterfly it's just ridiculous so that's most of the cleaning you got to do generally this side's not too bad so clean all that up like new this is the map filter we'll put a new one of those on i think i've only got one left so i have to order some more of those i'll go take care of that now in the meantime subscribe turn the bell on put it in the comments and we'll catch you on the next video